Are you a beginner guitarist who is struggling to find the right strings when you're picking? This is very common. I've seen this happening with almost all beginner players. And the reason for this is that most beginners, when they practice exercises, when they practice things in the beginning, they generally do things together. We try to put our fretting hand and picking hand together. Although that's what you want to do as a guitarist in the long run, but in the beginning, you need to be able to spend some time individually on the picking hand so that it can become independent and find strings easily so that you don't feel like a beginner when you're picking. That's what happens. In the beginning, when you play the guitar, you struggle to find the right string to pick and then you're moving your head between your fretting hand and picking hand. And it's a, it's a big chaos and confusion and you end up feeling that you're never going to learn to pick properly. So here's a quick exercise that I want you to practice if you're an absolute beginner. This will help you to find the strings easily and I'll give you a more advanced version of it that will also make it sound a little more musical. So let's check this out. So first part of the exercise is very simple. I want you to learn this pattern where you're going across three different string sets. And to begin with, my recommendation is you start with string number one, two and three. The pattern is quite simple. You'll play the first string move your pick across the second string play the third string then you will pick the second string and then back to the third string this is how it would sound after you have practiced that in isolation you can try it across different string sets Let's take it between string number two, three, and four. And then you can move it across the other remaining strings. So let's take three, four, and five, and then four, five, and six, and go through the same pattern. You can create your own unique pattern also. Just challenge yourself to jump between strings if possible. The goal with this exercise is to get to a point where you don't have to look at your picking hand when you're doing this. So I want you to completely stay away from looking at your picking hand. Stop looking at down at the strings. Just play it with the picking hand. All right, so once you have learned the pattern, the picking pattern, I want you to put it together with some notes with your fretting hand. Remember your goal is to not look at the picking hand. So when you're doing this exercise in the beginning, you will find it slightly difficult. But trust me, you want to stay away from looking at your picking hand. Now, how to make this exercise more musical? You can find some notes of a particular scale on the first string. And this scale should contain the other two strings that you're playing. So if you are an absolute beginner, you can avoid this. Just practice the pattern in isolation. But if you know anything about scales or notes, you can find out um, you can find out which scale contains all three strings that you're going to play. You can start off with C major scale because that contains all your open strings. So let's take this notes of C major scale on the first string. So you have the open E, you have first fret F, G on the 3rd fret, 5th fret A, 7th fret B, 8th fret C, 10th fret D, 12th fret E and so on. You can go across the entire fretboard if you want. And now you play the same pattern along with these notes. You can do it in a random order or you can decide what order you'll play the notes in. So it should sound something like this. Here's another example.
can do the same exercise on the other string sets also. Try to find the notes on either the higher or lower string or in on the middle string. For example, if we take string number two, three and four, the notes of C major are on the first fret of the second string, third fret D, fifth fret E, sixth fret F, eighth fret G, tenth fret A, 12th fret B and 13th fret C again. And if we take string numbers 2, 3 and 4, then we can play something like this. So there you have it, a quick exercise to improve your string finding ability. If you're an absolute beginner, trust me, do this for one or two weeks and you will have no struggle finding the strings. You'll not have to look at your picking hand again when you're playing. Tell me through the comments, how did you like the exercise? If you have tried it and if you have seen results, let me know what are the challenges you have so that I can make some videos on those topics. I hope you enjoy these lessons. Check out the short electric guitar lessons that I'm doing. Please subscribe to the channel and support these lessons. I'll see you next time.